All right, we're going to go through the world's fastest data loss prevention demonstration in the history of the world. So right now I'm at the main admin center. I am signed in. I am an administrator. I'm going to head over to the exchange because this is where we want to uh, impact changes and rules and policies around compliance management. You will see that in addition to in-place discovery and auditing and retention policies, retention tags, uh, journal rules, I do have the capability for uh, impacting uh, DLP policies to scan email messages for sensitive information. I can add these from a policy template and you'll see a wide variety of policy templates available depending upon whichever country you're in or country that your email uh, messaging sender and recipients are in that you can apply to protect your messages. I'm going to look at the PCI credit card information uh, and you'll see that this is being enforced. The first thing you'll notice here is I do have rules and there are two sets of rules. One for external recipients in which case we're just going to go ahead and block the message and one for internal recipients which we are set to block the message as well. So if the recipient is located inside the organization and the message contains credit card, and we do scan even attachments uh, for credit card information, you want to notify the sender with a policy tip. But I do think that there are some times, like sending a message on to our internal credit department, that we should allow the sender to override and send. Uh, and again, we can still give a policy tip here as to what we're doing. I'm going to generate an incident report and send that to Dennis, who's one of our compliance managers, so he'll get a report about this incident. And then finally, because I am allowing the send of this, I can secure the message. If it's outside the company with Transport Layer Secure, I can force the connection. And I can, if I it, inside the organization, I can apply a rights management and I'm going to select one of my templates, in this case the do not forward, because again I've got a legitimate sender uh, sending to a legitimate recipient and I don't want to block that, um, but I don't want that legitimate recipient to then go ahead and forward this message on. So I'm going to block forwarding of this message. I could create a new template that says, you know, only allow this uh, for five days, then expire the content, or uh, only if they're these, you know, particular people, etc. cetera. Uh, but you get to just very quick and easy, and uh, that's all there is to it. It's uh, very, very uh, simple. I am going to encrypt that message. Message. I am not going to allow the message being forwarded. I am going to notify somebody internally that this message was sent, and I am going to block it but allow an override. So thanks. I hope that helps.